interesting race, third line scored a couple of goals in previous weeks. And a good shift there, now Doucette. Lozon, cross the line. Forced off the poke and then shoved to the ground by Zajac, that will be a penalty. And the clan touched the puck, I'm not sure they controlled it, but the whistle has gone. And the first power play is coming the way of the whole Stingrays. Ariani has it as Zajac comes out of the box. We're back to even strength. Out in front, Silverthorne, and I think Jones just got a toe on that one. And now here is Zajac. Sent on goal and a comfortable glove save for Ben Bounds. Options, Bergen. McGrain allowed to shoot and it was deflected wide. It came off Andre. Arson around the boards. Champagne down to his knees but still in possession. Moving the puck around. Bergen, room to shoot and he does. In and out of the glove of Bounds and the follow-up is saved. It was McGrain onto it and it was Bounds on top of it. For Mariani and that's going to be a penalty on toe. Frank gets back to the puck. But we are going to have a penalty, it's a hooking call and Mike Hicks has been a very busy man inside the first seven and a half minutes. 30 seconds of Stingray's power play. Trying to squeeze one in and they have, they've lifted it in! And it's Silverthorne from in tight who's put the Stingrays on the board. Power play goal opens the scoring. Ah, 9-0-2. This is Silverthorne. Score of the only goal. And Davis backhanded into a dangerous area, but no one waiting in black. And Trim dumps it in. Bergen will chase after it, and he'll get there first. Dominic's putting the pressure on. Bergen to merge with it. Tries a cheeky wraparound. It comes back out to McGrain, and he's nudged it over the line. The clan have their equaliser. And it's that man, Ed McGrain. And that's not quite the power play the Stingrays were looking for. It's two good penalty kills we've seen in this game so far from the clan. And we're inside the final minute of a tied first period. Haywood. Right across the crease and Toe swung over the top of it. And then that's got to be a cross-checking penalty. Andre. And indeed it is. Took down Matt Toe after Toe swung and missed. If he'd made contact, he would surely have scored. And I think that's an unnecessary one for Martin Andre to take. It into the zone. Chamberlain with the snapshot and it's saved up high by Jones off the shoulder. And then a little bit of pushing and shoving and Cloutier's in there and Chamberlain's in there. And pretty soon everyone's going to be in there. And Mike Hicks has got some decisions to make. So Frank is heading to the box. And we await the official call. And two minutes has gone on the board against the clan. Looks like that will be the only penalty called. And here come the clan, two on one, Esders. Oh, trailing his toe, back to Esters, that superbly worked, and unbelievably, Bounds has kept it out. Swung his left arm out, and the clan have been denied, and they can't believe it. It's a super start from a two-on-one that became a three-on-one, as Toe joined in. And it looks sure that they'd sweep it over the line. And Bounds has been in fine form lately. That's the best save we've seen tonight. Wonder if we might be heading in the same direction again. Long way to go, but it's a very tight game and it's hard to see. With the way the game's currently going, a team 
really pressing ahead, although the clan are going to get a power play here. And Jeff Smith's not happy with Matt Toe. Towner's in there, Esther's lending his support. And everyone else is going to come over and say hello as well. Hicks watch, watching on from afar. And he's going to give the clan a power play. So, Clan on the power play. Nicolat's pass goes across to the far side. Hammered cleared by Gominyuk. Silverthorne's chasing. So is Nicolat. Haywood under pressure from Cloutier. Clan should be able to skate this clear. Nicolat dumps it in from long range. Stingray is trying to kick it down the boards. That's not worked out. Haywood. The pass has hit Cloutier. Out of the zone, back in. And then carried out by Silverthorne. No support at the moment. Stingrays are making a line change behind him. Silverthorne squeezed one in! Short handed! Jones never expected it. The Stingrays lead out of nowhere. Infinity is furious down on the clan bench. Most of it, I think, directed at Haywood. But it's Silverthorne's goal. Forty seconds left on the penalty. There's going to be another one. Champagne's going to go as he takes down Lawson. He's got a few words for Lawson. Lawson's going to have his two penneth as well. But it will be five on three as Champagne sits for tripping. On a hat-trick now as he gains the zone. Feeds Mariani and his wrist shot is saved at the top of his crease by Jones. Oh, and crashing into the net. It's Mariani as he followed in. Stingrays win the draw. Can't move it clear. Oh, and Andre has gone down. He's been caught up a, around the face. They want a high stick call. Initially, one wasn't made by Hicks. He's now consulting with Paul Staniforth. I wonder if he's going to change his mind. Andre's back up. He's making his case to the officials. Slap shot blocked by the skates of Gominyuk. Kenton Smith, shot from the angle, is blocked at the side of the net. Gominyuk will move it to the near side. Lozon, across the line, trying to move into the slot, trying to get the shot away, sets it up for Doucet! away from him Champagne final 20 seconds that will be a penalty Andre is going to go to the box again certainly impeded Champagne as he went past there's only 15 seconds left might be enough time for one surely not enough time for two Andre says, what, who, me? Fred So Martin, he's going to have to take a seat. But I don't think this one's going to be costly. Interference confirmed as the call. Look is out, Bergen. Is there going to be time for one last long clan shot? There might be Frank, Champagne, it's blocked by Smith, it's cleared off the glass 
the Stingrays win. They take two points and they go top of the Gardner Conference and we're going to have some afters. It's Frank and I think it's Smith. It's been a physical game, it's been an intense game. And still it goes on. Well, Coventry and Nottingham showed how it shouldn't be done last weekend. The Stingrays and the clan didn't even bother waiting for the handshakes. So the Stingrays, as I say, move ahead of Dundee. They are top of the conference. They have played more games. And they've also closed the gap on the clan in the Elite League standings to just two points. And it's a fairly embarrassing exit past all the Stingrays fans for Chris Frank. He'll take no part in the handshake line. The Stingrays now can properly congratulate each other, they've done a great job tonight.